This is going to be a quick video on how to install the Mac OS X Snow Leopard Beta on PowerPC. So pretty much everything works straight out of the box on this uh, PowerBook. So sound works, screen brightness works, which means graphics is working. So let me show you how I installed it. Uh, the first thing you'll need is the DMG file, uh, which I have uploaded here on Macintosh repository. And all of this information comes from the Mac rumors forums, which is where the bulk of this hacking is taking place. Uh, so I've taken the information here and mirrored it on Macintosh repository. And there's two files here. Uh, the first one is the original uh, installer that people use. And the second one is a DMG file of an already successfully installed system. And this is the one you'll want because we're going to restore this onto our hard drive, onto a partition. So what happened is somebody on the Mac Rumors forum, once they were successful in installing and they use a lot of text files from Leopard uh, and put them into this uh, installation to make sure that all the hardware works and it works. So you'll have to download this DMG file. And then once you have it, we're just going to restore it onto a partition. So let me restart in my uh, Leopard partition and we'll go through the restore process. Okay, so here we are booted into my Leopard install. And I have the DMG file just right here on the desktop. So all we need to do is open Disk Utility. And we're just going to drag the DMG in to the list. And then we need to scan the image for restore. And that's just going to take a few minutes. So we'll let that go. And once the scan has completed successfully, we can go ahead and just restore it onto our partition. So I'm using a partition here in Possible Cat that I created. Uh, you can install it on your whole disk or create your own partition uh, using Disk Utility. But you're just going to drag wherever you want to install it to destination. And you're going to drag the DMG file to source. And then importantly, you have to click Erase Destination because I believe that forces it to do a block by block copy. Otherwise, I think it just tries to copy the files over. And when I did this originally, I didn't do erase destination and I got a kernel panic. But once I set it to erase destination, uh, it installed and booted first try. So we're just gonna click restore, erase, put in our password. And then we get copying blocks, and that's going to take some time. So once it's done, you should have untitled one here, and that's going to contain that installed system. And I'm just going to rename this Impossible Cat so we know what it is. And then we can just select that as our startup disk. And there we go. Mac OS 10, 10.6 on Impossible Cat. And then this is going to boot into right after a successful install. So we can go ahead and just set up 
our new install of Snow Leopard. And here we go. We have our full install of 10.6 Snow Leopard on PowerPC. And everything seems to work. Volume works, screen brightness control works. Again, the only thing that didn't work out of the box is Wi-Fi, but I think on the Mac Rumors thread, uh, some people have already figured that out. So that's it. Uh, I'll include links to all the stuff you'll need down in the description. Uh, caveat, of course, your mileage will vary. If you have the exact same computer as me, probably this will work absolutely perfectly for you. Uh, this should work on many, many other power PCs, uh, G4. Uh, but let me know in the comments below if you had success or if you ran into any issues. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, if this was helpful to you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. I've got more interesting videos on the way.